I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Well, why not? After all, you are what you eat. <laughs> hey, Chief, where's your father? His bran flakes are getting all soaked, and his prunes are getting wrinkled. <laughs> He's upstairs looking for his glasses so he can find his teeth. <laughs> Girls have breakfast yet? No, nah, they're upstairs getting ready for school. Still? They've been up there all morning. Well, that's because they're girls. All boys have to do is spit, splash, and zip off the school. <laughs> Here. Oh, boy, look at that. Scrambled eggs and onions, Canadian bacon and English muffins. All my favorites, Nell. Now, yeah, dig in. <laughs> Not you, Chief. Here. There's your two boiled eggs. And your parsley. You're on a diet. You know, Canadian bacon is so scrumptious. But you know what's a funny thing? You never think about a Canadian pig. <laughs> I mean, you got your Canadian mooses, your Canadian geeses, even Canadian beavers. <laughs> but Canadian pig just don't sound right, huh? Simpson, would you like to see the sports section? Sure. Where would you like it? In your mouth? I'll get it. I'll help you. You can't leave me alone in there with him, Nell. Oh, relax, Simpson. His bark is much worse than his bite. It's the frothing at the mouth that scares me. <laughs> It's that pain in the butt swack hammer. Tell me, why does it take three rings of the doorbell for you to answer? Do you see the welcome mat there, neighbor? Yeah. Good. Wipe your tongue on it and start all over. <laughs> I want to speak to Chief Kanifke. What's going on? Uh -huh. I assume you have seen this? Joy Girl? No, I haven't. It's not exactly on my reading list. Oh, this month's issue is out already, huh? <laughs> yes, oh dim one. <laughs> what are you doing with that? Maybe he's the fold-out. Gas bag of the month. <laughs> Ordinarily, I wouldn't be caught dead near that filth. But the rumors were all over the neighborhood this morning. First, Mrs. Judd told Mrs. Atkinson. She's the lady with the bumper sticker that says, one if by land, two if bisexual. <laughs> anyway, if you turn to the Joy Girl of the Month section, you'll find someone you see every day. You're kidding. My mother wouldn't have the guts. <laughs> It's Patrolman Mary Beth. <laughs> I can't believe it. It is Mary Beth. Oh, come now. One of your own police women poses naked in a magazine, and you don't know anything about it? Of course he knows. The chief has his finger on everything. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. <laughs> She's barefoot all the way up. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. You just haven't been lucky, Chief. <laughs> dirty, dirty, dirty. 
Even Dina Stamilo covered her shame. And she did it the hard way. Without arms. <laughs> Damn it, the whole department's gonna suffer because of this. When police women start stripping naked, it's time for the public to go into action. Yes, you should start a whole protest group and call them Pinheads for Purity. <laughs> How could she pull such a cheap, rotten trick? She's a disgrace to the uniform. What uniform? <laughs> All I see is a photograph of a very pretty girl. I mean, what's the problem? A police officer should wear something besides a badge and a birthmark. You know, if that was the National Geographic, you wouldn't give it a second thought. Those are people from the underdeveloped countries. Mary Beth doesn't have that problem. Come on, Chief. I mean, not everybody reads that magazine. Hey, Dad. Dad? Have you seen this month's issue of Joy Girl magazine? How did you find out about this? Barbara Wilson called this morning. Her father lets her read this stuff? Actually, it's her father's magazine. <laughs> well, isn't it incredible about Mary Beth? I don't want you girls looking at naked women. Thank goodness I'll never have to take another shower. <laughs> Come on, Dad. The centerfold of the month is a great honor. Dad, there's tremendous competition, and you really have to be something special. I mean, if I was asked, I'm not sure what I'd say. Oh, I know what you'd say. You'd say that my father's license to carry a gun, and he might shoot you. <laughs> well, listen to this, you guys. Every night, this cuddlesome cop hits the book studying for a detective exams. Detective? Ha! With her chest, she couldn't even find her shoes. <laughs> I suppose you think this is a great honor, too, huh? No, Dad, I think what you did was pretty stupid. I mean, all it does is encourage men to keep treating women as sex objects. On the other hand, I say if Mary Beth wants to let men exploit her body, that's her God-given right. If God had wanted women to run around naked, he would have made men nearsighted. <laughs> Come on, Julie, let's get out of here. You know, Chief, you ought to give the girls a little credit. They have seen boobs before. How do you know that? They've seen you, and they've seen Simpson. That's two right there. Boy, they sure advertise some dumb things in this magazine. What kind of idiot would spend $60 on a bra with holes in it? No, I don't want to hear anything more about this. Not a single word, you understand? Not a single word. Okay, Carl, have you seen this? Here's this lady cup, built like Mount Rushmore. She says you were the first to appreciate her potentials. Well, I wouldn't put it exactly that way, Pop. Uh... But there's only one thing I want to know. Has she got an older sister? How can you look at that kind of smut? Well, I only look at it in the morning to get my heart started. <laughs> Let's go, Simpson. I gotta have a little word or two with Mary Beth. Hey, Carl, since you know her, wouldn't it be too forward to ask her to autograph my trusts? <laughs> hey, Chief, when you do talk to the girl, just try to keep an open mind. Oh, he's always had an open mind. Go look in one ear and see out the other. <laughs> Morning, Chief. Oh? Yeah, Chief. Where are those two off to? Uh, we've got a little problem out on Highway 19, sir. Uh, one of our squad cars is in the river. Well, how the hell did that happen? Uh, well, sir, it seems that Benelli left the picture on the seat of his patrol car, and while he was looking at it, he drove off the bridge. Picture? What picture? Uh, I don't know, sir, but uh, the last I heard, Manelli was still diving for it. <laughs> Disgusting, isn't it? My kind of cop there, Mary Beth. Hey, hey, Mary Beth, let's you and me commit a moving violation. <laughs> Every time I look at you, my siren goes off. Mm. 
Mary Beth, you ought to be in pictures. All right, knock it off! Mary Beth, I want to see you. I already have. Didn't you hear me? I said knock it off. In my office, now. Hiya, Mary Beth. Hello, Ralph. Don't worry. His froth is worse than his bite. <laughs> Close the door. Now, just what is this? Oh, take it easy, Chief. You got your finger on my belly button. <laughs> just a joke. Joy girl. How could you be in a magazine like this? Well, I tried Field and Stream, but they had a fold out of a red snapper. <laughs> I want an explanation. Okay. About two months ago, a guy from Joy Girl magazine called me, and he said he had a snapshot of me, and would I like to pose for them? How he got my picture and phone number, I have no idea. But I really needed the money. Well, your mother was sick. You needed the money for an operation? No, I used the money for a down payment on a new Porsche. <laughs> you mean that you posed naked for a sports car? Well, that's all they asked me to do. <laughs> well, when people see a police officer naked in a magazine, how do you suppose they can respect the police department? Well, Chief, if they can respect a president who makes movies with monkeys, they can respect anybody. <laughs> what you did was wrong. It was stupid. And it was morally disgusting. Now, wait a minute, Chief. That's not fair. I'm a good cop. In fact, I'm a damn sight better than a lot of the clowns you've got working around here. Besides, what I do on my own time is my own business. That should be the end of it. It is. Since you're so fond of taking off your clothes, turning your uniform, you're fired. Fired? You heard what I said. You're fired. Chief, you can't do that. Law enforcement's my life. It's all I know. Good. Go get a job as a security guard in a nudist camp. <laughs> hey, look, I have my rights, too, you know. I mean, you can't just fire someone over a difference of opinion. Chief, I have seniority. I have a good record. I have 10 years into my pension plan. I'm going to go to the Civil Review Board. I'm going to get my job back, because I'm not going to take this lying down. Why not? It seems to be your favorite position. <laughs> Very funny, Chief. Let's see if the Civil Review Board laughs when you fall flat on your face. Mary Beth. Mary Beth. <laughs> All right, I want to know who put this in my bed. <laughs> I also want to know who wrote Rehire Mary Beth in lipstick in my bathroom. I had to soak in my tub for 20 minutes before I could get it off my bottom. <laughs> uh, look, I don't say that you don't have a right to your own opinion, but this has gone on long enough. Now, what do you say we call a truce, huh? I smell bacon. Can I have some? Sure. As soon as you find a pig and a sharp knife. <laughs> Katie, but how about rustling me up some breakfast, huh? Sorry, Dad. All right, now cut it out. I've had about enough of this nonsense. You're wrong about Mary Beth. Can't you see that? Absolutely. It's as plain as the bubble in your head. <laughs> You hungry? Here's a box of stale choco bits. Come on, girls, you gotta go to school. Choco bits. The breakfast of sissies. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Samantha, how about fixing me some breakfast, huh? I can't. I gotta go to Sunday school. It's Thursday. I don't want to be late. <laughs> the doorbell is ringing. Congratulations. Your ears work. Now, try blowing your nose. <laughs>
pop. Oh, she's that gets you. I thought you'd be out putting diapers on dogs. <laughs> now, look at here. We got 18 more signatures for Mary Beth. Good. Now, between you, me, Katie, and Julie, we got over 200 names in the petition. People don't know what they're signing these days. That's right. You thought you were signing Julie's report card. <laughs> you know, I only had one real problem all morning with that stuffed shirt that lives next door. Oh, swag hammer. Yeah. With him, I had a close encounter of the ugly kind. <laughs> When I asked for his signature, he, uh, he called Mary Beth a trollop. What's a trollop? Uh, that's a streetcar named Desire. <laughs> Listen now, now be serious. I don't want you taking sides with a loose woman in front of my innocent daughter. Come on, Dad. Mary Beth's not loose. And we're not innocent. <laughs> well, she's not. <laughs> Julie, why don't you call Oscar Meyer and donate your body to sausage? <laughs> Listen, Chief, this is the 20th century. People have gone to the moon. Why don't you join them? That's all right. Laugh, all of you. But I got a job to do, and I'm going to do it. Nobody's going to make a laughing stock out of me. <laughs> Glenlund Police Station. Please. No, we don't have that. Let me connect you with Missy Person. Glenlund Police Station. I'm sorry, the show is busy. Ladies, ladies, I told you the station house is out of bounds. Turncoat, traitor, sexist pig. It's for you, Chief. <laughs> Ladies, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Now, please, go peacefully, huh? We don't want to use force on you nice ladies. Hell yes! We'll undress! Hell yes! We'll undress! Boy, things are really popping around here today. Besides the lady pickets, the phones have been ringing off the hooks. And we are getting telegrams from all over the country, Chief. Hey, look at this. Chief, Jane Fonda. <laughs> she hates your guts. <laughs> Gloria Steinem, she thinks you're an oink oink. <laughs> Dr. Renee Richards. Dr. Renee Richards, who's that? Oh, well, he, I mean, she was a man who wanted to be a woman. <laughs> So she, I mean, he went to have an operation to change her, I mean him, into a her. What I'm trying to say is I think he went to Sweden for a transmission exchange. Why would anybody want to do that? Maybe he got tired of picking up the check. Put out an APB for your brain. <laughs> Chief, the guys from the Channel 6 News team are here again. Okay, Dave, uh, that's good right there, just fine. You got my good side? I got the best side there is. <laughs> my new haircut look okay? The tie straight? Perfect. Put your flies down. <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> Hi there. This is Hamilton Storm, your roving reporter. We're here in the Glenlawn Police Station talking to Chief Carl Koniski, who's been accused of being a redneck, racist, chauvinist bigot. Your reaction to it? <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> we pause for this commercial message. <laughs> All right, see, you're off now. I mean, lighten up, huh? I mean, this is a big story. Get picked up by the network. Now, let me ask you some in-depth stuff, like, uh, 
What's Mary Beth's measurements? Well, her waist is about the same size as your neck. But it's hard for me to tell unless I get my hands around it. Now, come on, Chief. Give me something, anything. Like, I heard some mystery man, some uh, person or persons unknown uh, sent Mary Beth's picture to that magazine. Yeah. And if I ever find that degenerate, I'll kill him. Oh, that's great, Chief. Violence, sex, nudity, murder. Everything you could ask for in the 6 o'clock news. <laughs> What are you doing? Simpson? What, Chief? What are you doing? Oh, I gotta listen to the radio. Mary Beth's got an interview on the 2 o'clock news. Put that away. Why'd you say I can't hear you, Chief? Put it away! <laughs> you loud and clear, Chief. Chief Kaniski! Chief Yeah? Are you Chief Kaniski? Yes, ma'am. What can I do for you? Simpson, arrest that woman. Well, I... I can't, Chief. That's my mother. <laughs> Hello? Yes, this is Chief Kaniski. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you've heard about my stand on the centerfold issue and you admire my position? You've never seen a man with his head between his... What? <laughs> the same to you, madam. <laughs> all right. Hey, hey, Chief. All right, all right. Come on. Chief. I'm really sorry to disturb you, but I got this guy outside that is demanding to talk to you. Get rid of him. Well, I would, but he chained himself to Vogel's desk. <laughs> All right, fella, just what in the hell do you think you're doing? You call Kaneski? In person. Simpson, cut this idiot loose and throw him in a cell. <laughs> just a solution? You're gonna put me in jail? Why don't you just fire me like you fired Mary Beth Sinclair? That's none of your damn business, Simpson. You know, yeah. Kinesky, if it was up to you, all the beauty in this world would be destroyed. If it was up to me, you'd be up in the tree with the rest of the squirrel, Simpson. <laughs> I can't find the bolt cutters. Why don't I just shoot the lock off? <laughs> the ricochet probably won't hit too many people. <laughs> there he is, ladies and gentlemen. The man you've all heard about. He really is chained to a desk. How would you like me to chain your lip to the floor? Now, wait a minute, Chief. Now, this man obviously has something he wants to tell. And it's my duty as a reporter to be here when he tells his story. Yes! People who destroy beauty deserve to die in an ugly, ugly way. And there's nothing quite as ugly as the sight of blood and brains all over a police station wall. Which is exactly how it's gonna be here in the next ten minutes. When I blow you and your station to bits. It's hard to find your ears when your eyes are blown out of your head. I left my pencil back in the newsroom. I'll be right back. <laughs> Nobody moves or I blow us all sky high right now! that magazine. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Dad, have you seen this month's issue of Joy Girl magazine? How did you find out about this? Barbara Wilson called this morning. Her father lets her read this stuff? Actually, it's her father's magazine. <laughs> well, isn't it incredible about Mary Beth? I don't want you girls looking at naked women. Thanks. 
goodness, I'll never have to take another shower. Come on, Dad. The centerfold of the month is a great honor. Dad, there's tremendous competition, and you really have to be something special. I mean, if I was asked, I'm not sure what I'd say. Well, I know what you'd say. You'd say that my father's license to carry a gun, and he might shoot you. <laughs> well, listen to this, you guys. Every night, this cuddlesome cop hits the book studying for a detective exams. Detective? Ha! With her chest, she couldn't even find her shoes. <laughs> I suppose you think this is a great honor, too, huh? No, Dad, I think what you did was pretty stupid. I mean, all it does is encourage men to keep treating women as sex objects. On the other hand, I say if Mary Beth wants to let men exploit her body, that's her God-given right. If God had wanted women to run around naked, he would have made men nearsighted. <laughs> Come on, Julie, let's get out of here. You know, Chief, you ought to give the girls a little credit. They have seen boobs before. How do you know that? <laughs> they've seen you, and they've seen Simpson. That's two right there. <laughs> They sure advertise some dumb things in this magazine. What kind of idiot would spend $60 on a bra with holes in it? No, I don't want to hear anything more about this. Not a single word, you understand? Not a single word. Okay, Carl. Have you seen this? Here's this lady cup, built like Mount Rushmore. She says you were the first to appreciate her potentials. Well, I wouldn't put it exactly that way, Pop. Uh... Look, there's only one thing I want to know. Has she got an older sister? <laughs> How can you look at that kind of smut? Well, I only look at it in the morning to get my heart started. <laughs> Let's go, Simpson. <coughs> I gotta have a little word or two with Mary Beth. Hey, Carl, since you know her, wouldn't it be too forward to ask her to autograph my trusts? Hey, Chief, when you do talk to the girl, just try to keep an open mind. Oh, he's always had an open mind. You can look in one ear and see out the other. <laughs> Morning, Chief. Oh? Yeah, Chief. Where are those two off to? Uh, we've got a little problem out on Highway 19, sir. Uh, one of our squad cars is in the river. Well, how the hell did that happen? Uh, well, sir, it seems that Manelli left the picture on the seat of his patrol car, and while he was looking at it, he drove off the bridge. <laughs> picture? What picture? Uh, I don't know, sir, but uh, the last I heard, Manelli was still diving for it. <laughs> this Disgusting, isn't it? <laughs> hey, you're my kind of cop there, Mary Beth. Hey, Mary Beth, let's you and me commit a moving violation. <laughs> I wouldn't be caught dead near that film. But the rumors were all over the neighborhood this morning. First, Mrs. Judd told Mrs. Atkinson. She's the lady with the bumper sticker that says, one if by land, two if bisexual. <laughs> anyway, if you turn to the Joy Girl of the Month section, you will find someone you see every day. You're kidding. My mother wouldn't have the guts. <laughs> Ooh, it's Patrolman Mary Beth. <laughs> I can't believe it. It is Mary Beth. Oh, come now. One of your own police women poses naked in a magazine, and you don't know anything about it? Of course he knows. The chief has his finger on everything. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. She's barefoot all the way up. I've never seen anything like this. You just haven't been lucky, chief. <laughs> dirty, dirty, dirty. Even Venus de Milo covered her shame. And she did it the hard way. Without arms. Damn it, the whole department's gonna suffer because of this. 
when police women start stripping naked, it's time for the public to go into action. Yes, you should start a whole protest group and call them Pinheads for Purity. <laughs> How could she pull such a cheap, rotten trick? She's a disgrace to the uniform. What uniform? <laughs> All I see is a photograph of a very pretty girl. I mean, what's the problem? A police officer should wear something besides a badge and a birthmark. <laughs> you know, if that was the National Geographic, you wouldn't give it a second thought. Those are people from the underdeveloped countries. Mary Beth doesn't have that problem. Two boiled eggs? And your parsley, you're on a diet. You know, Canadian bacon is so scrumptious. But you know what's a funny thing? You never think about a Canadian pig. I mean, you got your Canadian mooses, and your Canadian geeses, even Canadian beavers. But Canadian pig just don't sound right, huh? Simpson, would you like to see the sports section? Sure. Where would you like it? In your mouth? I'll get it. I'll help you. You can't leave me alone in there with him, Nell. Oh, relax, Simpson. His bark is much worse than his bite. It's the frothing at the mouth that scares me. <laughs> It's that pain in the butt, swack hammer. Tell me, why does it take three rings of the doorbell for you to answer? Do you see the welcome mat there, neighbor? Yeah. Good. Wipe your tongue on it and start all over. <laughs> I want to speak to Chief Kanitsky. What's going on? Uh -huh. I assume you have seen this? Joy Girl? No, I haven't. It's not exactly on my reading list. Oh, this month's issue is out already, huh? <laughs> yes, oh dim one. <laughs> what are you doing with that? Maybe he's the fold-out. Gas bag of the month. <laughs> Ordinarily, I would... So hungry I could eat a horse. Well, why not? After all, you are what you eat. <laughs> hey, Chief, where's your father? His bran flakes are getting all soaked, and his prunes are getting wrinkled. <laughs> He's upstairs looking for his glasses so he can find his teeth. <laughs> the girls have breakfast yet? No, nah, they're upstairs getting ready for school. Still, they've been up there all morning. Well, that's because they're girls. All boys have to do is spit, splash, and zip off the school. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy, look at that. Scrambled eggs and onions, Canadian bacon and English muffins. All my favorites, Nell. Now, dig in. Not you, Chief. Here. There's your 